This is Sean, and I have a favor to ask before I get started with today's video. Um, I was wanting to know what resolution you watch these videos at. If you look down on the bottom of the screen, there's a little uh, cog type thing, and you can click on it, and it'll tell you what resolution you're watching. I'm just curious because I'm trying to keep my downloads low and my file sizes low, and if you know, I'm always uploading on HD 1080, and if nobody's watching it at 1080, I'm going to start uploading at like 720 or 540 or whatever. So, just trying to get an idea. I'll put a poll up above, and I'll also um, uh, just in the comments, just if you wouldn't mind mentioning what you you know, what resolution you watch these videos on. If you're watching it on an iPhone or a, you know, a phone versus on a computer, you know, maybe mention that too. That would really help me out. And um, that way I can save a lot of time with uploads and whatnot. So anyway, hope everybody's doing well. And let's get on with today's video. Enjoy. Have a better day, as I always say. Greetings, this is Sean, and today I'm going to be making this little chair for my desk I made last week. Or earlier this week, actually. Uh, I forgot I've been off work for a few days. But anyway, um, here's how I am going to build it. Those are all the parts right there. And as always, there's a few that I had to go back and fix and correct and whatnot, but uh, such is life. And uh, this one's kind of a little special thing that I've had in mind to try and build for a while now. And now that I have a desk and have a reason to build it, I'm building it. It actually features a little drawer that swivels out from underneath the seat. And since the desk that I made earlier this week uh, didn't have any drawers, I decided to put it into the chair. This is a actually a combination of a couple of chair different chairs that I've seen and I've got plans for and so this is I guess an original design of my own in a way sort of kind of anyway I'm starting with the uh, the side pieces here and uh, it's pretty straightforward just a lot of gluing and and fitting pieces together the way they're supposed to go. Um, I do have one little mistake that I made. Actually, a couple, but one major one that you'll see and it gets highlighted pretty well. But anyway... Um, this was a little tricky to do. Um, especially the round drawer part that you see over there on the far left. And, uh, but it was, it was kind of fun, kind of fun to build, and I'm not gonna, of course, finish it for this, I'm leaving all my parts unpainted, everybody knows what it's like to paint a piece, so, and if I ever do paint it, I will show some pictures of my finished stuff, I may do a best of video one of these days, it has all of my, all of my pieces that I've built so far into one big collaborate, or a, um, yeah, I guess collaboration, whatever you want to call it. Compilation, that's the word I'm looking for. Anyway, those long pieces that you saw me marking up, those are the back legs. And here I'm doing the front legs there. And here I'm going to start working on the drawer. This was the, a tricky part. Um, I didn't have the, this piece here that I'm, or the second next piece here that I'm getting ready to glue on. Uh that one. I didn't have it cut exactly right and that's where I make my mistake later and that's actually a 1 32nd inch piece that's uh, cut across the grain so it's bit really bendable, it's really easy to bend but I didn't cut it, well, I cut it too long and so it kind of bows out a little bit too much so it kind of sticks so I'm gonna have to, I'll sand it later you'll see and it works a little bit better after that but uh, that was probably the trickiest part, was getting that to, to stick. And that piece that I'm gluing on right there will be the seat support. 
I was thinking of upholstering the seat or putting some kind of leather or padding on it, but I didn't. I just... I didn't do it. <laughs> uh, anyway. That part there will sit underneath the drawer to help kind of support it as it's sitting there and to give a little bit extra strength to the legs as well, to the seat part. I was just making sure which side I needed to glue on which way and whatnot. Here I'm gluing the side onto it, but I forgot that I needed to cut those little pieces off there that were too long. The 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 square dowel is one eighth inch dowel. The, all the flat pieces are one sixteenth inch basswood, and except for that one piece that was one thirty second inch, the you know the rounded part uh, for the shelf or the drawer. And, So here I am gluing the front legs on. So there's the drawer going in, or uh, fitting it, making sure it fits in there. Oh, and by the way, my front camera, I, the the SD card, the, the flash card that I used to save my video on, uh, got corrupted, so I wasn't able to get any video for that onto here. So you'll, this is the only view you're going to see, by the way. Okay, I was going to put the drawer in, but it was I wanted to wait for the, all the glue to dry before I do that. So, anyway, um, just gluing the back on, real simple back. And I'm going to let it dry. That's where the seat's going to go, but not yet. I'm going to put the drawer in first. Okay, so here I am. I'm going to... Uh, oh, yeah, fit the drawer in and... It's going to hinge on that corner there, so here's where I'm going to start sanding to make sure that I can that none of the corners hit and that it's nice and smooth. That's where I'm starting to the, see. You can kind of see that right there a little bit. See, but now I need to cut that because it's too tall. That was the part I forgot to trim earlier, and. This is where you're going to see my first major boo-boo. Oops. I wasn't surprised that that happened. <laughs> I was pushing way too hard. I, I should have had a better... I should have did it before I put it on there in the first place. But anyway, no big deal. <clears throat> Easily fixed. Just cut off the extra stuff there and glue it back into place is all I end up doing. It was still a little bit too long, so I decided to trim it down and make it fit better. There we go. All better. You never know. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm taking this piece of 8 inch, eight inch dowel and I'm going to cut a small piece to put in the corner to help support the pin that I'm going to use to act as the hinge. This is what I'm doing with that. And. Uh, Oh, 
Oop, and I accidentally got a little piece there too. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking a needle and putting it in my pin vise, and then I'm going to poke a hole down through for a piece of uh, music wire, a stiff piece of music, that's it there, that music wire, <laughs> which is actually the same one that I used to unclog my glue with, but uh, it's the only one I had at hand. So now I'm trying to mark on the chair itself where I need to drill a small hole for the pin to sit into. And now I'm marking on the top part, that's the top brace that'll go over where I need to put the pin as well wasn't quite where I wanted it to be, but it works out. Just like that. I'm pretty happy that worked the way it did. I'm glad it worked the first time too and didn't have to take it all apart and try something different. Anyway. Here I'm gluing the seat on, the last little step. Well, until I realized, now I need to have a handle. So that's what I'm gonna do here is I've got this little uh, doorknob handle. And I only had one, if I had two, I would have put one on both sides to make them look the same, but I'm gonna take that little brass knob there and affix it to the door. And like I said, if I had a second one, I would uh, put it on the other side to make it look like they're, you know, symmetrical. Kind of like a hidden drawer, but I didn't have a second one. So anyway, this will work. So I'm just making a hole for the doorknob to fit into. Handle knob, handle. And I'm cutting the tip of it off so it's not so long, so it's not going into the drawer. And I'm going to super glue it in. And uh, <laughs> the last time I used my super glue, I was using accelerant, and I accidentally sprayed the tip of the of the glue bottle with the accelerant, so it was all clogged up, and I had to pry it all apart, and nothing would come out. So I had to take a pair of take my uh, pliers and squeeze the end of it off to unclog it all. <laughs> but anyway, finally came clean and was able to get a little bit on there and make it stick. So. Anyway, that is my desk chair. And there it is with the desk. I would like I say, I wish I was able to get a front view of it, but anyway. Hope you enjoyed this. And as always, have a better day, as I always say.